I had three small paintings in the show and two of them are from a series called Everywhen and another one is from a series called Imaginitis. So a lot of my practice is involved with uh, a tension between photography or digital imagery that I find online and the practice of painting. So I'm kind of interested in that we live in a world that's just saturated with two-dimensional images which are now predominantly made by digital technology. And I'm kind of interested in what happens when you take an image from that sort of glut of imagery and make it into a physical object. Um, and it's something that's tangible that uh, you can hold in your hand or is something that you can see is physically made by the human hand. You can see the brush marks or the traces of an event of something being drawn in paint or made with a sort of thick material. Well, I guess I started working with um, this idea of digital images or representing digital images when I was living in a regional area and the internet sort of became the way that I engaged with the wider world. So the scale of my works really came from wanting to work on a similar scale to a computer screen. And I think um, for me, I was trying to think about the scale of photographs as well. They're quite intimate. So I was working on that sort of premise of nothing being bigger than sort of a, a home laptop or a home computer screen. And in terms of materials, I paint on board uh, with oil paint and the board is kind of a very stiff, resilient um, support. So when you use the oil paint on the board, it doesn't soak in, it stays there and it really holds a mark. So in a lot of ways, I feel like my paintings are as much drawings as they are paintings because the way that I use the brush you can really tell that well the way that the brush can be dragged through the paint you can see the brush mark you can see the fibers of the brush moving through it so you get a trace of the event of time that it takes to make a physical object like that you know these digital images are so slick and clean um, at times and they're very flat but also they seem very deep because the space of the screen is kind of endless so I'm kind of interested in playing with that idea of making them more physically evident by using thicker amounts of paint or using layers of paint so you can see that there's these images are built up over time. I guess that's kind of why I'm trying to build that tension between something that's mechanically made and something that's handmade or human made. Yeah. I'm kind of interested in uh, arresting this flow in some sort of way and the amount of time that we see all these images going past us what happens with the kind of engagement with images and I may maybe that's something that's come out of working in a gallery or working in a museum and spending so much time and watching other people engage with artworks I kind of have been thinking about the time that you spend making an artwork and the time you spend looking at an artwork in comparison to perhaps the time you spend flicking through all these uh, images on the internet but at the same time I also sort of feel that the internet is becoming kind of like our cultural photo album in some way. Originally when I started working on this idea of imagery from the internet I sourced a lot of um, news photographs but also I became very interested at that time about how we all are now imaging ourselves and our world. Everyone has a camera, um, everyone has a phone and so news comes to us not just from a professional news team but from people that are on the scene or capture something. So in a way I think those images that I'm more drawn to now are not those professional ones but they're really vernacular. And I think that's, there's something about that, um, that commonality because I think in some ways people might look at the images that I paint 
and they seem vaguely familiar. There's kind of a sense of deja vu about it because I feel like in a way we do all have this common experience about what we see because obviously um, what's chosen to be broadcast or shown to us or the way that things you search for things on the internet, there is a sort of commonality. Uh, so I think for me there is something about the everyday and imaging the everyday that I am quite interested in because I think in some ways it's about a social glue that pulls us together. But I am interested, I guess, as a painter, that idea of uh, when, when we look, what do we actually see? And I think that can sort of be transferred to that experience of the internet as well. You know, do, do you see what I see?